right, guys, I watched my first, first NFL game for 2016. Preseason week one, I watched the Dallas Cowboys and the L.A. Rams with a beverage. A beverage and some food, and it was great. And let's talk a little bit about this game. Now, the Dallas Cowboys are looking pretty good. I, I Their offense is looking really good. If, if they had Jason Witten out there, if they had Des Bryant out there more this game, they probably would have done a lot better. Uh, they're looking pretty good, I think. I, I think that Dallas has a good chance at, at the running this year for Super Bowl. But they're going to have to make uh, some tweaks and adjustments, which we'll get to in a minute uh, as far as the offense. Now, the defense is lacking. Um, the missed tackles, the missed coverages, you know, they you, you got to – look, if you're going to play defense, you got to tackle the guy. If you're going to play defense, you got to cover – that receiver that's coming out at you. If you're a safety, you got to hit the tackle. You got to nail it. You can't let the guy get by you. You can't let him push you aside. You got to push him aside and push him around. And that's the way the defense works. But that's not the way that the Dallas D work tonight. Uh, they definitely need some work. And I understand that they're they're uh, younger veterans and rookies that are playing, looking for a spot on the roster. But the way some of those guys play tonight, they're not getting a spot on the roster. They need some work. To end this, let's get quickly to let's go quickly to the Dallas offense. Like I said, they look pretty good. Swain dropped a couple that he should not have dropped. You know, backup tight end that's looking for a spot on the roster needs to catch the ball. Dropping it's not going to get you on the roster. Um, and then of course there were a couple of other receivers that dropped the ball, um, especially in the fourth quarter. Let's jump to the fourth quarter now. It's fourth quarter. There's a minute and a half, minute and twenty left on the clock. Um, it's third down, they're going for the first, and Showers, the quarterback that's playing at this point for Dallas Cowboys, throws it to the uh, receiver who drops it. It was in his hands, and he kind of dropped it behind him. It was in his hands. It was there to be caught. Again, you don't drop a catchable catch, okay, a catchable ball. And uh, Swain did that twice, even though he caught some, he, he did that twice. But this, I forget the name of the player. I'm trying to remember who it was, my mind. But, uh, yeah, he dropped the ball kind of behind him. It was a catchable ball, and he dropped it, making it fourth down. Now, here's what really puzzles me. I'm, I'm still, I don't get it. So, fourth down and one. Fourth and one, guys. Not like fourth and five, fourth and seven. It's fourth and one yard to go for a first down. And the quarterback sees nobody open, so he throws it away. Throws it away on fourth down. I, I don't know. I'm puzzled by that. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, as you can obviously see, that he would throw it away on fourth down and one yard. He should have just ran it as hard as he could, knocking guys out of the way and trying to make a first down. But to just throw it away and think, oh, yeah, dude, gee, what happened? Well, you just lost the game because you're an idiot. So Dallas does need some work. Uh, they're going to have to go back to their, their, their drawing board, as you say, back to the training field. Um, definitely going to have to train that defense on, on uh, coverages and tackles. Uh, whew, man, they're lacking. But on the offense, sit down with that quarterback, and, and they should replay that play with him, that fourth down play, when there was 34 seconds on the clock. And say to him, look, when it's fourth down and one yard to go, you don't have to throw it away, dumbass. You can run it 